Hi all, welcome to Racks Infotech. In this video, I'm going to share you Oracle Data Pump Intrigue Questions and Answers Part 2. In, in my previous videos, I have uploaded the related to Part 1 Data Pump Intrigue Questions. Okay, if you are uh, new to this uh, channel, Racks Infotech, uh, all Oracle DBA and Apps DBA, Rack DBA, and also other database information also I'm going to share through this channel. All the interview questions or interview support or trainings which somebody required live and a real time expert uh, support. If you required, uh, reach out to raxinfotech at gmail.com. We are here to support you guys. Okay. If you are uh, not yet subscribed to this channel, if it is useful, you can subscribe it. Okay. Coming to that uh, concept Oracle Data Pump Interview Questions Part 2. First question Explain the concept of data pump remapping and uh, somebody will ask you right remapping what is the use of remapping uh, when it, when is it is useful for us as part of this data pump okay data pump remapping is used to change object names or attributes during the import process like our export or import process like if you want to do one database, like doing some uh, data remapping from one database to another database within the same database, you can uh, use this remap option in a data pump. It is useful when you want to import data into different schema or different table spaces, or when there are some conflicts between the object name in the source and target, you have different object names. At that time, you can use remap option and then may match this uh, object names in a source and target type. So we have separate like uh, different different options which is available as part of this remapping. I'll discuss uh, two options. Next question, uh, what is the purpose of remap table? This as part of that remap, we have one remap table option and remap schema option. So this is a different approach and this is different approach. Let us go with this, uh, this question. What is the purpose of remap table parameter in Oracle data pump? This remap table parameter allows you to rename the tables during the export or import process. This can be useful for scenarios such as reorganizing data or resolving name, any naming conflicts. Any name conflict is there in your database table level. You can use this remap table name option. This parameter as part of the export or import options you can use. Similarly, we have another question. Somebody will ask you like, what is the purpose of the remap schema parameter? Either you can do with remap table option or in a schema level, if you want to do some changes or if you want to matching the conflicts, if any conflicts is there, if you want to match it on source and target side, you can use this. Remap schema parameter is used to remap or rename schemas during the import process. It allows you to import data from one schema into another with a different name. That is also possible. If you, if you want to use the same schema name, not different schema name, remap schema option, it will help you. And more information, you can go through this. To move a schema from one database to another, it is mandatory to have the target schema in the database, something like that. You can go ahead this one. As part of this IMPDP, import data pump command, you can use that. And next question, how do you perform a full database export using data pump? So by using data pump, we can like do multiple backups, right? A schema level, table level, full. So in this question, we are going to answer full database. So we are going to take a full database backup. So to take a full backup using export option, the XPDP option, you can use full equal to yes, full option equal to yes. Then it is going to take it. So complete command is this. X, expdp is the command to take a backups and then give the username admin if you are using system or if you are using different admin name you can give that admin username mostly for database full databases you can use system user and password directory which directory you are going to use for the export the directory name and the dump file you can mention full underscore exp or full underscore uh, you can mention the database name sid name okay dot dmp is the format of your dump file and log file to understanding or you can go through the detailed process how the export 
the process. If it is succeeded or failed, all the objects it is going to take. If anything is skipped, everything you can go through this log. If you are giving this log name, that is fine. Else, if you are not going to give this parameter also, this will expdp process internal itself. It is going to create a log with its own system generated name. But if you mention, it will manual name, it will come into the picture. This is the option where you need to look. Full equal to yes for your database, full database export or full database backup using data pump. How you are going to take. Okay, next question. What are the different types of data pump files? In data pump, how many types of files we are having? So as we did, as we saw this example, right? We have one dump file and we have one log file. Similarly, we used to have some SQL files. We used to have some par files or parameter files. See, dump files contains the data and metadata exported from the database where you are going to export some data that you are going to store into this dump file. Log file contains informational mean or information or any errors, the process of the export and the process of the import, everything is stored into your log. SQL file contains SQL statements to uh, recreate objects such as tables, views, and indexes. If you want to give this SQL command also, you can use as part of our export and import options. Another one is par parameter. This is another file. Dot par is the parameters for data pump export import operations. If you want to do some conditional wise uh, data export and import, you can use par file. Or scheduling the backups or scheduling the export and imports, you can use the par file and then schedule it. So these are all the types of data pump files. These many files we are having. And the next question. Explain the data pump network mode. So we have different kind of modes. One of the mode is network mode. Data pump network mode allows you to perform export and import over the network. Like you are having two different data centers. See, one data center to another data center or one database to another database. If you want to export in one database and do the import on another database without copying the dump file. Without copying the dump file. The dump file, like suppose I have database A is there and database B is there. Generally, what we are going to do, we are going to export the data, expdp, that will create one DMP file, dump file, right? This we are going to copy to from so A to B database. This dump file, we are going to use impdp command to import that data here. Why, I mean, this is normal process. If you are using a network mode, if you are using network mode, you don't need to copy this dump file. So say you have generated this dump file, the dump file has been created, it took the full backup. Suppose you can take a full backup and create one data link or database link on this server, on this database, use this database link on this node and then try to read that export from here to and then import it on this database. So through that network, TCP IP network, you're going to export, uh, I mean, you're going to import the data which is there on different database server. So that is network mode. Okay. Data pump network mode allows you to perform export and import operations over the network, TCP IP network, which we are going to use are different networks which are performed at, in their organization level. Cloud, uh, on-prem, such kind of networks. Okay. You can export data from one database directly to another database without need uh, for intermediate dump files like you don't need to copy the dump file from one source to target side the dump file will be there on source but you have a network uh, parameter or you have a data pump uh, data links or database links using that you can do that next one how do you perform table level exporting earlier we saw full day full database how we are going to take full database backup using data pump now we are going to uh, check how we are going to take table level database backup or table level backup in your data pump. So you can perform the same expdp, use the username and password, admin username and password you can use. And tables is an option where you need to take table level export. Tables equal to if you want to take one table, give only one table name. If you want to take multiple tables, you can give sama I mean, uh, comma separated by the different table. If you want to take one, two, three, four, five, six, 
mention one comma, two comma, three comma, four comma, and so on. And the directory is mandatory for each and every operation and the dump file location. Here we, we did not mention the log file. If you want, you can mention the log, otherwise, it will create automatically. Another option also, we added another command where I have mentioned the log file as well. Here I did not mention the log file. Either you can use this command or this command to do the table level export. Okay, next, what is the difference between full and schema mode exports in data pump? Full mode export, export entire database, including all the schemas. Or it means full, full equal to yes, complete database level backup by using XPDP. If you want to mention the schema level, specific schemas in our database, we have n number of schemas will be there. If you want to take specific table related information, you can use the schema mode. Exports only schema objects, specific schema related tables, indexes, and so on. Okay, in that way, we are going to take, there is only one difference. How do you monitor and manage data from jobs? Like suppose you have given expdp command, this command you have executed. Okay, suppose this one, this table level backup, it may take one hour to complete, complete backup. But during that one hour, you need to monitor how much percentage, whether it is processing or not, is there any errors or not, how we are going to check that. Okay, that is the question here. You, We have a couple of views where we can able to find the status of our uh, data pump jobs. Data and DB underscore data pump underscore jobs is one view or V dollar session underscore long ops. If anything is running longer time, we can use this uh, view as well. Also DB underscore data pump sessions also there. We can use any one of that view or all the views, combination of all the views, you can write on SQL and then monitor and manage our data pump jobs. Okay, next one, explain the parallelism feature in Oracle data pump. That's a new feature, a new feature which is uh, given in data pumps, right? Data pump allows you to parallel, I mean, parallelize data and metadata transfer operations, which can significantly improve your performance. Parallelize or parallelism option, which is uh, very helpful uh, to your backups. If you want to do quick export, if you want to do quick import, this parallelism will help you on it. You can specify the degree of parallelism using the parameters such as parallel option or RR. And you can use parallel up and parallel underscore max underscore server, how much process you are going to give. These two options, we can able to use it to improve the performance of your backups in your data pump. How can you perform data pump export over the network link? Earlier, I, I have given the same thing. Okay, you use the data pump link Export over the network link, you can, the data pump link you can use. Source side, you can create a DB link. Target side, you can use the DB link name, network underscore link. This is the parameter file where you need to use in your command. And give the database link that will read it from the source to target without copying the dump file. So for this question, answer is, I you can use the parameter network underscore link. This parameter, you can able to do that import option. Specify the name of the database link that points to your source database, which is created on database link is created on the source database. Target said you can use IMPDP command. Network underscore link is a parameter and give the database link name, and then it will do that. Next question: What are uh, what are the advantages? What are all the advantages of using Oracle Data Pump over traditional export and imports utilities like? Somebody will ask you, what is the difference between normal or traditional export and import and data pump? In this way also, they, somebody will ask you. Main thing, which data pump has been introduced from 10G onwards, right? So from 10G onwards, uh, we are, earlier we, we are going to use EXP, EXP for exporting and IMP for importing. This is our traditional, traditional commands or utilities for backups, but uh, in data pump, we are using exp DP for importing IMP DP. These are our data pump things from 10G onwards. Before 10G, we are going to, now also you can use this exp import, but we have uh, uh, much familiar or uh, very good feature, uh, which has been given in exp DP and IMP DP. So we are going to use these two commands or these two. Then what is the difference between these two and these two? That is the question. Or what I mean data pump, Differences between the data pump and traditional export and import. What is the difference? That is the question. So in data pump, 
they improved the performance like data pump is typically faster than your traditional utilities compared to your normal export and import exp dp and imp dp are the faster uh, and performance also very high because of the parallelism option enhanced manageability so improved performance is one one feature which is given in exp dp or data pump enhanced manageability another feature it will support data pump will support the parallelism traditional will not support the parallelism traditional export and imports and it data pump is going to support for advanced features data pump supports like encryption compression network based export and import in normal traditional or traditional export and import you don't have these encryption option compression options network based options these are all the uh, differences between normal and uh, the traditional i mean data pump and traditional export and import we have couple of things these are all high level uh, some of the advantages in our data pump that's all about this part uh, two and we'll connect on I mean on part three as well. Thank you. Have a good day.